Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the aircraft carrier in some sort of respect. Uh, essentially what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying to build some sort of plane uh, that will actually fit into the hangar of this aircraft carrier. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I've actually done then is I've taken this from the actual aircraft carrier and I've decided to actually put it in here so that we know exactly how big our plane can actually be. Uh, so this is from the aircraft carrier, as I've already said. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and merge... Ooh, why is this bit not part of this? I'm not sure whether we should go over that or not. But anyway, the plane can't be that big, uh, is what we're getting from this. Uh, essentially, it can only be this long and it can only be this wide. Uh, with that being said, obviously we want the fuselage to be longer than the width, uh, so I'm not entirely sure why I've built these like this. Uh, we might have to change these in the future. But anyway, let's go ahead and start building a plane that fits within these diameters. These diameters? These... Uh, is that the right word? Parameters? I guess parameters works. Uh, and hopefully it'll be good from there. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Alright, so first things first, we kind of need to fit a engine or a propeller inside of this. So let's go ahead and start building that bit first. Uh, realistically, we're actually going to go ahead and get ourselves a peep, a peep, no, a pipe, yeah, let's do that first, actually. So we're going to get ourselves a pipe, we're going to go ahead and make it straight and enclosed and put that right there. We're then going to put this on the top, this on the sides, and that will allow us to have an engine, uh, mounted directly into the middle of this. Yes, so that can actually go there. I want it to be longer so that it resembles a British plane a little bit more, uh, and in fact, the way of doing that would probably be doing this. There you go. I mean, that's pretty interesting as a design goes, but I uh, kind of like it. I think it works. So that works. Yep. Uh, we're then going to go from there and we're going to allow this to be sort of rounded off uh, straight away. So do this down the sides. Obviously, we want that going over the top and we want it going down the other side as well. So we want to do it down here also. But obviously, we're going to need to do it with these guys. Yes, we are, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but there you go. That goes up there like that. We should be able to send this directly backwards from there like this. And clearly on the top of this, we need to do the same thing, but backwards like this and also like that. There we go. Kind of interesting. Uh, I don't think the front should be quite flat like this. So we might actually start deleting these pieces uh, and maybe even move this th thing backwards. Oh, I guess that would work. So let's grab this all the way down to there, all the way back to here and all of this side as well. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and actually cut that. Hang on, cut it, there we go. Move it forwards, paste it on there. Merge it in, so that it actually fits in. And put this guy right here, excellent. Uh, grab this, put it there, and send this backwards like this. All right, that might look pretty crazy, but that is what we're gonna go with for right now, uh, at least, so there you go. Attach these guys all together, we'll have a flat bottom. I think that works, kinda cool. Oh, but that does mean that the engine's gonna have to fit like pretty much directly into this piece, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, I'm actually thinking we delete this and we put one of these on this bit instead, which, you know, is still fine. We haven't changed very much with that. Uh, and I think that'll be okay. So that'll allow us to go backwards from there just like this. Uh, it could be a biplane if we want it to be a biplane. I don't know if we do, but uh, it could be. So that's kind of interesting. But anyway, cut this, move it forwards uh, directly to the edge. There we go. Paste that in. And that's fine. Yeah, okay. So, so far, so good. I think this is okay. Uh, we can then actually attach these guys onto here like this. Yep, very good. We can then put this guy right there also. And we can send this bit backwards. Uh, I guess just like that. It's very flat, but I guess it works. Yes. Uh, we're then going to grab one of these guys. And we're going to put it directly on there. Just like this. And we're going to send it inwards. Just like that. There we go. Kind of interesting. Uh, I think it works. So there you go. We're then going to delete this guy right here. We're going to put one of these on. And then we're going to do this backwards from there like so. And yeah, I would say that's pretty sick to be honest. That looks all right. Um, what do we do from there though? What do we actually do from there? So we'll send this down to there, obviously. We'll grab one of these and we'll put it there. Very nice. And then we need these guys to fit in also. But that's going to be pretty tricky. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead and continue with these guys backwards. Hopefully that's okay. So we're going to bring this up to there. Yep, good. We're then going to attach this piece on also. And 
I think from about this point backwards, we're going to attach this guy to here. We're then going to do this guy as well, so do that there. We're then going to delete one, two, three, and four. We're going to grab these guys and put them on right there, just like this. There you go. Oh, that's pretty sick, yeah. Okay, so that's like a nice, a nice looking uh, fuselage, I would say. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we obviously need an engine putting in there. We need wings putting on the side of this thing. And we need horizontal stabilizers and stuff like that. But that's stuff that we can actually just add to this. And I think that'll be fine. So let's go and attach this guy directly into there like this. This directly into there like that. Fill this little bit in right here. And I think that's a pretty cool little fuselage, to be honest. Alright, so with that being done then, uh, let's go ahead and actually start painting this a little bit. So obviously we're going to go with the colours of the, uh, the navy, because it is a navy plane. Alright, just so going to go ahead and attach these guys to the tippity top of this, uh, all the way down to there. Uh, we are, of course, doing this on both sides. That can go to the front, like so. I think the front bit is actually going to be like a dark grey. Uh, kind of like this. Yep, that works. Uh, and we'll do that on the bottom too. Yep, very good. This bit's going to continue all the way to the rear. Uh, yeah, which I think is fine. There you go. Obviously, the top bit of this is going to be done too. And most of that as well. Uh, in order for this to look right. So there you go. Kind of interesting. Looks a bit weird, but we can go with it. Uh, in fact, I might do it down the side too. There we go. Which means all of the top piece will be covered in this. And yeah, that looks kind of sick. I like it. Uh, whether this is going to be the main aircraft of the carrier, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I kind of think it looks pretty cool. So we're going to keep it as is for right now. Obviously, it's going to have to be relatively small anyway. But uh, I kind of like it. Yeah. So, we're actually going to go with the uh, a brown, and we're going to paint around the outside of this. I, I think that's usually how these were done anyway. They had, like, smooth... Uh, I don't know whether it was, like... Uh, like, um... Leather? I, I I guess? I don't know. It's what it's the gist of things that I get from it, but... Yeah, we're going to go with leather interior. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Kind of snazzy, but sure. Uh, we're going to send this all the way to the rear, and... Yeah, we're just going to fit this in just like we should. So grab one of these, put it directly on there, flip it around, paste it on. Yeah, okay. It looks kind of interesting, but we are going to roll with it for now. I think that's fine. Uh, right, so the front bit of this is actually just going to be... Hmm. I think we're going to delete that and bring this to here. There we go, that makes sense. We're then actually going to just go ahead and attach these guys directly onto this bit like this. One, two, maybe even three. There we go. And we're going to attach all that together, just like so. That looks huge. So we're going to get rid of this bit, and yeah, I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be completely fine, actually. Grab the color, let's go ahead and paint this in on the sides, and we'll go from there. Yeah, so all of this is going to be painted this color. Fan dabby dozy, I think that's fine. Do this bit as well. And I did kind of want it to be curved, but I'm not too sure how I want to do that. So I guess we'd do this, and we'd do this, and we'd do that, and then we'd delete this bit in the middle. Uh, add some rudders. And go with that, hopefully. So, right there like this. Oh, I don't know whether I can fit this in. Maybe that might work. There we go. Paste out that color. That looks sick. I really like this. It's really tiny, but I like it. All right. So now I think it's time to actually add some sort of wings to this thing. I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing this, but uh, I want it to look good. So we might actually add something like, oh, I guess like this, uh, quite low. I think that makes sense. We'll then have it like merge in with its uh, with itself uh, right here like that. That makes sense. There we go. Uh, we can then actually attach, I guess, these guys straight onto that, uh, which will bring it out sideways. Now, how long is this? We need to figure this out. So from there forwards, how long is it? Uh, that would be 28. So we're going to make the wings something like 32. So we'll go from like here. Let's make 32. Uh, there. Okay, so that's how big the wingspan needs to be. Uh, whether we can actually get it to that point, <laughs> I'm not sure. But there you go. So it'd be like that big. All right, excellent. I think that works. Yep, yeah, we now need to do the front of this. And I'm not sure whether it should be curved, straight, or, or what. I'm not entirely sure. In fact, delete two of those. We're going to have this bit be like this. All right, because I think it'll fit. There you go. It looks quite nice. We're going to attach this guy directly onto there. And then we're going to have uh, one of these, I think, uh, onto here like this. And we're going to send it from here this way. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I kind of like it. But at the same time, maybe not. 
Maybe I want one of these to go directly onto there like this. We'll then obviously attach one of these guys onto this bit. There you go. So it gives it a little bit more of a, um, a shape, which is quite nice. We'll then obviously attach that onto there, and that looks pretty cool. It's a very, very small aircraft, but I kind of like it. Maybe we need to move the wing forwards a little bit. Let's do that. So let's grab this wing on this side. All the way out to here, grab that bit too. Go ahead and cut it. Move it forwards to about that point. Yeah, that makes more sense. Then we have to do the same thing on the other side, obviously. So go backwards to there, go ahead and cut it. Move it forwards too, paste it in. And merge it all together. There we go. Merge this with this. Merge that with that. The wings look a little bit tiny, but we're going to go with it. That's fine. We're then going to delete a few of these. Uh, because we actually need to add control surfaces. Uh, we also, realistically, we kind of wanted some... Um, foldy wings? No, not foldy wings. What am I trying to say? I guess we did actually want folding wings on this thing. But in this situation, we, we don't. You know, we don't actually want foldy wings. So, let's get rid of this real quick. Uh, what we'll do... Oh, how do I want to do this? Because we need the control surface, right? Alright, so we need a control surface. It'll probably end up just being these guys. But we still need them. So, where do I put them? <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, so I want one there. But clearly I want one on the other side doing the opposite. Yes. How do I make this work? Is the question. So we could maybe add these guys straight after it, like this, but I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that idea. Uh, maybe though. So we could actually send that to there from here. Yeah, okay, that works. And then we can actually just attach this guy to there, like this. Do that bit. Delete this bit right here and attach that to there. There we go. I mean, that might be crazy, but if it works... I guess it works. Alright, put this little piece right here. Uh, grab one of these. Send it across. There we go. Grab one of these. Do that from there all the way across to there. And I think that works. Yeah, sure. Why not? I guess that's the problem with building something so small. Actually making it work and fit properly is is pretty difficult. Uh, but yeah, we want to jug this on the underside to all be this color. Clearly, we can't have that bit be this color, but that's fine. Uh, we'll just paint that in. Uh, in fact, we'll probably just leave it the color that it already is. We'll leave it like that. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to delete the entire bottom piece. And this is our plane that we will be using. Yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, propeller, let's go ahead and grab one of those. And smash it straight on there, but we want the end one, obviously. So we're going to put that right on there like this. Okay, I guess that's fine. We're going to make it a three prop and... We're going to make the blade length actually pretty big. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's too big. <laughs> maybe that's too big. Maybe we actually do want it to be like 50%. Let's go with 60 uh, for right now. Yeah. Oh, this looks cool. It's very cool. Uh, it would be an open top one, obviously, uh, if I was to do this. However, maybe we could actually make it a closed... Or maybe like a front canopy would work. Windows. Let's, uh, let's just get on with this and see what we can do. So, front windows... If we make them somewhat like this, uh, I guess. Right, let's do it on both sides. So somewhat like this. So it goes down the side a bit. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, these pieces in there. Okay, that would work. And obviously the opposite in the middle. Like that. There we go. And then this piece on the top again like this. Uh, that would just be the canopy for us. You know, it just it would just be this. Uh, whether I like it or not is another question. There we go. So it'd have to be somewhat like that. I think I'd probably leave it like this, to be honest. But I'm not entirely sure what I want from this. So maybe we leave it like that for right now. Uh, we'll obviously paint that little bit right there. Okay, good. And the entire interior, I guess we'll actually stay sort of grey e white. grey e white. Uh, with that being said, the bottom is going to change colours to be more different coloured. More different colored, more blue. There you go. So it's going to be bluer uh, on the bottom. I do believe that makes sense. Uh, there we go. Wait, is that actually the same blue? It looks like it, but it's not. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it is a tiny boy. It is a little tiny plane, isn't it? The wingspan looks wrong, but it's it's not. <laughs> the wingspan looks wrong, but it's not. We might be able to make it slightly bigger, actually. 
Maybe not wingspan wise, but we'll grab it from here and there all the way to here. We'll cut it and we'll move it backwards. So it's got bigger wings. I think that'll make it look better, honestly. So we'll go forwards to there again, obviously. Drop it down, bring it forwards. Cut it. Move it backwards too. There we go. Paste it in right there. And we'll try and figure this out. So merge this with this. Merge that with that. And put all of this into here. Excellent. Yeah, I think this will make it look better. But at the same time, I'm not entirely sure it will. Uh, so, yeah. How do we merge these guys together? This would have to go here like this. Kind of. That would have to go in there. Sort of like that. And then it would look really weird. Which it does. So how do we do this? How do we make this look good? Maybe we grab one of these. We put it on there like that. Oh, but it doesn't quite work. If I moved it backwards one more, then it would. But I'm not sure I want to do that. So that would go there like that. Okay. That's fine. And then we'd obviously have to attach these guys together somehow. Uh, and I'm not sure how I would want to do that. So, kind of like that, really. But that looks weird. That looks... <laughs> it looks really strange. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Unless we deleted all of these. We'll delete that also. Put that piece right there and right there. We grab one of these guys and we put it here like this. And we attach all of this together using these guys. There you go. And then we should be able to fill that in like, like that. And yeah, but it still looks weird, doesn't it? It still looks pretty strange. What if I deleted all this? Deleted all this. There we go. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, I don't know how I want this to look in the end, actually. I might leave it like that. I think the wings look weird like this, though. Don't you think it looks strange? Also, we currently don't have a horizontal stabilizer either. So, I kind of want one of those. So, let's grab, like, all of this. Go ahead and copy it. Flip it around a little bit. And until we can put it in the side. And then we'll just shove it in the side, and that'll be great. Alright, here we go. In fact, move it outwards. We'll probably put it there like that. There you go. Paste that in. Press U. Take it to the other side. Paste this also. Merge all of this together. There you go. And there you go. And yeah. I think that's alright. I think that's okay. Maybe. I think that makes it look better. Okay, right. So spawn this in. Let's see what it looks like. I think that works. Um, yeah. So when we're flying it around. I don't know. The wingspan looks too tiny, doesn't it? It looks so small. Yeah, they, they look a bit small. Realistically, we could actually add more to these, but at the same time, what's the point? <laughs> and I don't mean that in that respect, but like, kind of. So if we actually extended these out maybe that much more, maybe just this much more. There we go. We'll go to the other side and do the same thing again, obviously. So cut this. One, two. There we go. Paste that in there. Uh, clearly, then we just need to do that and do this and do that. There we go. Merge all of this together. And there we go, and I think that works. Yeah. Let's grab this color, go ahead and drag this in. And spawn it in, let's see what it looks like. Let's go sit inside and see if the wings look normal now. I think they they still look short. They still look in, like in, incredibly short. Um, so maybe we don't want this. Maybe we actually want it to be smaller than that. Using maybe one of these. There we go, and then maybe these instead. There you go. I don't know how we merge that with this. Um, yeah, I don't actually quite know how to merge that with this. I don't think there's a way of doing it properly. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. We could just delete that and we could make something else out of it, I suppose. So we could do this. Then we could actually do one of these guys instead. There you go, right there like that. And then all we need is one of these, and that will all attach together pretty nicely, I would say. Uh, and that would work. With that being said, though, they're all the wrong color. So let me go ahead and drag all of that. And yeah, maybe that'll work better, because it's skinnier. It'll make them look longer. Maybe. I mean, I could be completely wrong. But yeah, so if we jump inside of this... I don't know. I don't know if that, if that works. Maybe. Maybe it does. Uh, maybe this is something we actually write off, and then we build something else instead. But uh, I'll still show you guys the progression of this, because I kind of want to. So, let's go ahead and actually try and put this... Ooh, I want to change this too. Let's delete that. Let's do this. So that it somewhat merges just straight in with that. Or does that look weird? Does that look weirder? Weirder. 
All right, we can probably do that and that. And I think that looks better. All right, so let me go ahead and save this. We'll actually put it onto the aircraft carrier and we'll see what it looks like. With that being said, it currently doesn't have any landing gear, which is definitely a problem. Um, and with a plane being this small, having landing gear that folds, very difficult. So we might have to have landing gear that just stays down, which is uh, a pain in the butt. But we might come up with something for that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and put this on the aircraft carrier and see what it looks like. I've just thought of an idea for this as well. Maybe we can actually do it so that the aircraft that I'm building now can be the aircraft that's inside the hangar as like models, if that makes, makes sense. Uh, if we go onto the actual aircraft carrier, you, you can see uh, what they look like on the deck. They actually look pretty sick, to be fair. Um, they actually, they look like they fit. I think they look like they actually fit on the deck, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but... It is kind of interesting. We've also got this one on the actual uh, thingamabobby. Yeah, on the elevator. I could make the elevators bigger also. I can actually extend this one backwards, probably to like this point right here. So we could go about building a new plane uh, that is bigger than this one uh, with foldy wings. I think that would make sense. Do we have room at the front to extend that one? Uh, yeah, we can just modify this area to look better. We can actually extend that all the way to here. Um, and have some big old elevators. Maybe that makes more sense. Maybe that does make more sense. But still, the aircraft can't be too big because we need to fit them all on the on the deck and stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess this works. I guess this totally works. Uh, but anyway, this might be one that we use. This might be one that we don't use. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it and uh, we'll see whether we use it or not. But anyway, for right now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.